Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fifth episode of the second season of Machikado Mazoku. And last episode, Shamiko actually, like, gets a part-time job. You know, not just any part-time job, but like at a demonic cafe with a demonic fox girl. You really couldn't ask for a better job, really. It's not exactly the first job she's had, because she had like a, like a day selling wieners back in season one to, to pay back Momo, you know, the, the debt she was like amassing. But, um, yeah, obviously this is a little bit different, a lot more like relevant to, you know, the plot going forward, right? Because we got uh, like a new real character in Liko and all that, so I'm sure she'll do stuff in the future as well but yeah we got that all resolved we uh now we can we continue the important mission of trying to make uh, momo smile so yeah let's jump in and see exactly how we how we progress on that three two one looks like it's morning okay so we're doing we're doing this. I'm working on that doll. It's a really cute doll. I mean, I would gladly buy one. <laughs> you're already literally perfect. I don't know what you're complaining about. <laughs> I mean, that wand is, like, bigger than she is. <laughs> no more <chama. laughs> The struggle is real. And yeah, she's really cute, though. <laughs> yeah, she needed a good rest after last episode. Oh, whoa, whoa. Scared the shit out of me. Uh. A big hug. Maybe a kiss if it's not too unreasonable. I mean, it's all about food with this girl. Don't you know that? What is with a character with a big old, like, nose? Like, we haven't seen that character before, have we? We really need to see Shamiko in that outfit more often. The pink plan to retake Shamiko. Let's go. Let's retake Shamiko. Ice cream Monica. Uh, oh, wow. She's looking good. But, uh, yeah, they tracked us down. <laughs> I, you know, live around here. <laughs> uh, Momo best bodyguard. <laughs> Oh, no coming down. We're jumping. Well, that happened. At least you should stop hurting yourself, man. Yeah, he kind of, kind of jumped. <laughs> Minor. <laughs> She 
She can impose on me all she wants. And with that fluffy tail, I, well, I couldn't complain. <laughs> wow, the tails are kind of like in sync. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> wow, do we have like a PowerPoint presentation? <laughs> It was a while ago. I'm actually gonna get to see her. The plague thing. Okay, so that's how that got started. <laughs> yeah, I dumped a lot on him all at once. Okay, we sort of, kind of, saw a little bit of her. Hey, if you don't want her, I'll take her. Ah, uh, the betrayal. Typing intensifies. It's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you make it really hard to focus on the subs. I mean, she can say if she wants to. Uh, number three. <laughs> Has been deleted. Double my pay and we'll think about it. <laughs> I don't think Momo approves. <laughs> wow, she is really not holding it. It's like being subtle about it. <laughs> when did she get so so expressive? <laughs> I mean, if she was jealous of anything, it wouldn't be that. Gift, it better be food. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> uh, I mean, your mannerisms are, are pretty clear here. You broke through. I actually started rewatching season one between the last episode and this episode. I think that may be why I'm a little bit surprised by just how expressive Momo is, because she definitely was less so in early season one. So I think that was one of those things I didn't really pick up on because it was a, maybe a slow change. I, I don't know. At the very least in this episode, she's coming across as such.
Okay, a spirit? That sounds interesting. Ooh, wow, that's really pretty. Yeah, that's really awesome. I would love to see more of this character. I mean, is that like a core? I mean, this isn't about it being animals, right? I don't know. You know, that or just the average spirit. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to find it then. <laughs> Makes sense. It was a nice story. Just don't break him, please. <laughs> and she is just... She's stronger than she looks. <laughs> Maybe she's related to Momo instead. Right. Well, yeah, generally normal cats can't do that. Yeah, that's basically what I was thinking. Okay, I'm glad I actually sort of picked up on that. <laughs> she playing with Momo's hair? Okay. Right. They mentioned that in season one too, being hospital a lot, hospitalized. And we're getting a lot of information today. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you for the explanation. That definitely sounds like what we saw. It can go through the wall, so hard to keep track of it. <laughs> you have no room to talk. Yeah, it's all lining up pretty well. Oh, can't wait for the horns. <laughs> We're gonna tear them off, Momo. <laughs> I mean, in some context, I would love for her to use your horns as a... <clears throat> so yeah, it definitely looks like we're going to get to maybe see, maybe find the... We're getting closer to finding Sakura slash Sakura's core. What powers? Ouch. <laughs> that is pretty cool, but not true. Right. Okay, yeah. 
We'll see. Right, right. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Shamiko. I don't think that's quite what she was trying to say. <laughs> Just yeeted. So basically, Shamiko is a succubus. I should explain her one outfit. <laughs> uh. Right. Well, good night, Shamiko. Do your best. Because <laughs> you're not looking hard enough. I guess we'll see how this goes. Yeah, this stuff looks like a hospital. Do your best. <laughs> Thank you for the help. I think I hear voices. Oh, this explains the syringe part of the opening. Yeah, that's life for you. I wish my nose would stop itching. <laughs> yeah, like that. I would not want to walk by these things. <laughs> okay, we do get we do get to see the outfit, the crisis management outfit. I guess in her dreams, you know, her unconsciousness, she doesn't have to worry about people seeing her, her, uh, revealing outfit. <laughs> We're a snake now. That's great. <laughs> hey, you're throwing shade there. Nothing wrong with using a box of stealth. Yeah, your tail's kind of sticking out. <laughs> They'll stab you. That just still sounds pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, all you can do is your best. Uh, this is definitely starting to get pretty worrisome. <laughs> We even lost communication with our only assistant. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should run, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't imagine anything worse than being chased by a giant syringe.
<laughs> Don't just squirt her face when she's sleeping. It's quite rude. Yeah, but she really, yeah, she wants to help. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, making it very clear how much he cares about Shamiko, as if there was any doubt. Because I knew it was only a matter of time before she would try to jump in and help. The fork. Your dad's rod. Really wish she would have caught something else. Like a bazooka. Or a bigger fork. Yeah, a bigger fork. <laughs> Oh, I, I, well, we did it. Please do. Okay, then. I guess that's fine. Uh, is that Momo, or? <laughs> I'm definitely not with cream. Okay. <laughs> Squeeze that rod tight, Shamiko. <laughs> it seems to be working. So what does she look like? Okay, I'm pretty sure we have not seen this character before. Uh, is this Sakura? <laughs> wow, she's beautiful. Wow, oh, okay then. <laughs> just, just like that. <laughs> yeah, she's really attractive, damn. That might be my favorite character design so far in the show. What? You can't, you can't end the episode like that right there? She just showed up. I. Ah. Uh, you can't just reveal that 10 out of 10 character design to me and then just end the episode. It's so not okay. I seriously thought we had like half an episode left. And there's that big sakura tree. And then yeah, just the uh Okay, well, that was the fifth episode of the second season of Majikado Mazoku. And yeah, this definitely was a, like, information-focused episode. Like, the pretty much the whole episode took place in, like, one room, right? Where we just, like, talked, you know? N -n Nothing wrong with that. We, we had a lot, of, a lot of information we had to, like, get out. And, uh, yeah, apparently Shamiko's childhood very relevant to our goal. Like, the hospital and Sakura's core being the little kitty cat, they kind of, like, met each other. 
and stuff like that. Because apparently, yeah, we thought of the core as something that's like an object that's just sitting around, but apparently it can like be a, an animal and move around and and stuff. And we had like a magical pass through walls, sakura petals kind of kind of cat core, right? And Shamiko met that cat as a back like ten years ago. So in the end, we decided that we would do some like mind diving, right? Go go into the unconscious to try to get some clues about sakura and all that and we did that but it's def definitely more dangerous than the ancestor led us to believe right we have just giant syringes chasing after poor shamiko happen to go full snake and like stealth mode with a box which is pretty which is pretty great because it's a funny reference in general but the fact that a, you know the box was already like an established part of the setting so it was it was a good gag good gag on that basis uh, but uh yeah, she, we also got to see her crisis management outfit, which is great. I have missed it for sure. Because we see it in the opening, you know, uh, so it's kind of a little bit of a tease. So I appreciate getting, getting to see it in the episode. But yeah, we also had Momo trying to come in and help because, of course, because she, you know, wants to keep Sh Shamiko safe. And Shamiko is not in a good position right now. So that all is how all that works. But Sakura herself actually was found in the dream, right? Like, she first started off kind of like, you know, a bit like blurry, you know, almost like uh, that one Pokemon, what's it called? Missy, Missingo, you know, whatever. But uh, after some concentration, we got her to be in her proper beauti beautiful form, which, yeah, she is a magical girl, Sakura, Momo's sister. And uh, right out the gate, she comes across much, much more like a typical magical girl than, than Momo ever did, right? Because when we first met Momo, she really, I mean, obviously she was like very deadpan, not really, not really feeling much of that magical girl spirit. She kind of came across as somebody who like was forced to wear a magical girl outfit because of a Batsu game. You know, that's, that's almost the kind of the vibe she gave me when we first met her. Right. Whereas with Sakura, you know, we got the, you know, the more typical, you know, cutesy sort of like introduction, you know, and all that. And she's just very seems much more cheerful much more you know happy right and she definitely looks like a magical girl you know she's got the pink and all that she definitely i, I was i was i was expecting her to have the same hair color as mama but she does not which is which is certainly interesting but um yeah i really was not expecting her just to suddenly show up right then and there like i was like oh was this mama but no it was one better it was sakura not, not that sakura is better than mama but like we're towards it's like it's progress towards our goal you know like, it's good in that sense. But, but yeah, we actually got to finally see, see Sakura. Like, it's in, it's in Shamiko's head, so it's not like seeing her, like, physically in person, but still, it's, it's a step. It's a step in the right direction. But yeah, as far as Momo goes, like I said, she really felt really expressive, you know, especially in, like, the earlier parts of the episode. Like, you know, it's probably just because of the, you know, kind of the whiplash going from watching early episodes of season one, rewatching them, to this. You know, that jump probably had a lot to do with it, but, yeah, just, it was so, so crazy just seeing her just, you know, being, like, an angry, being cute, you know, with, like, the hair twirling and stuff. Like, we just got a lot of good Momo expression kind of stuff in the earlier bits in the episode, which I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed all that stuff. Also, Liko just being Liko, like, she's, like, so, you know, we've established that she's, like, you know, not good at reading the atmosphere and all that. So, she, like, doesn't hold back at all. She, like, makes herself at home, you know, plays the video game. Just, just pretty much just does whatever she wants as if she's in her own place, you know. And that was kind of, like, thoroughly entertaining in and of itself. But, also, I enjoy just, like, seeing her tail wagging. Also, we have, like, tail wagging syn syn synchrony, like, Sinks together between Shamiko and Lilith, you know, as she was like in the doll form on her head. But also we got Rio just like tap tap tapping on her computer, doing doing her part, you know. But <clears throat> also just trying to tear off that poor taper, whatever it's called, notes. Uh, just I could almost feel the pain because <laughs> it was like it went on long enough to where I was starting to like feel bad for him. Uh, but yeah, that was basically Shamiko's mission. This episode was to. Go to sleep, you know. And I think that's about uh, everything I wanted to say on the episode. Like, this episode felt like a big step forward in, in terms of the plot, which is cool. And now that we actually do have Sakura show up, she shows up at the very end of the episode, so it's like such a massive tease, but like, 
it does its job as a cliffhanger. It makes me really want to see the next episode and see what she has to say and what we can learn. And just it probably pretty fun in general seeing them interact with each other. I would love to see Sakura interact with Momo, like, because they're sisters and also quite different. And, you know, like, I would just love that, especially if they talk about, like, Shamiko in particular, you know, Momo's feelings towards Shamiko, talk about their relationship with each other in general, like Sakura bringing that up and talking about it. Like, you could do a lot of entertaining, great stuff from that if you wanted to jump into that. But, and if Momo actually does go inside Shamiko's unconsciousness, like, I think, like she said, she wanted to, we could actually have the three of them, you know, talk and stuff inside of Shamiko's head, which would be great if you could get that. But either way, I'm definitely really, really excited for next episode and cannot wait for it to, to get here. So, so, uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.